Hello, everyone. This is... Well, well, welcome to my first episode of this Juventus career mode. It is all realistic. Because we have got... So, well, it's all realistic because we've got all the conference leagues and all that. And we've got people transferred. Uh, let's go to, like, Bellingham. I can find them. That's Jude. Got Jude Bellingham at Real Madrid. We've got Benzema, Messi, and all that moved. So yeah, it's gonna be some fun. This Juventus team is starting the Conference League. I, I uh, it's just why not? Because I think they're finishing the Conference League spot. Yeah. That's our group. Which we should be winning. We probably should be winning the whole tournament. I think that's probably the hardest group there. Just because of Frankfurt and Lille. I think we've got the easiest group. Alright, I'm going to see what the board wants us to do though. Alright, we can do that. Ooh, that's going to be pretty hard. Yeah, it wants to win Conference League and it wants, it wants to win Serie A. I think we can do that. I don't. I think we can win the Cup though. But yeah, like, this could be our starting lineup for the first season. Okay, uh, alright. Let me know any transfer suggestions in the comments. But I think this window I'm aiming for a right winger, a cam, and who else? And a left back, to be fair. Should move Danny though to the right, because in Quadro is getting old, isn't he? Yeah, no, Danny is 30, I don't know that. So yeah. Right, I'm going to put some people on the transfer hub, transfer list, and I'll uh, see you when I'm done. Right, so here's our transfer list. I'm going for Roberto Firmino, who of course is a free agent now. I'm going to start him a cam, probably. Marcos Acuna, a left back. I think he'd be perfect for Juventus. And Samuel Giquese. If Villarreal were to sell him, it would be a very, very good right winger but at this moment in time I don't want to sell this is too important at the moment if that I'm going to look for a second option just in case so yes I'll be back again right in case too crazy does it work out I've gone for either Leroy Sane or Serge Nabry I Serge Nabry is injury prone Personally, I'd rather have Leroy Sane because he hasn't done well in buying any. So I was hoping I could revive his, his career. But Serge Nabry also has a bad, bad, well, bad ish career, and he like, hasn't done a lot, in my opinion. Got flair and all that. But Sonny's, I think it's more pacey, I think. And it, well, I think it's a, a lot better. But Drew Grace would be the perfect option because he's more pacey, he's younger. More potential and all that, so yeah. But what's all that? I think I'm gonna sign with both of you know straight away, just in case we go somewhere. So yeah. And yes, I forgot to mention I'm the I'm using Claudio Ranieri because I think he can rebuild Juventus properly. It's important. Say like three years. Accepts it. Good. Release course now. Nah. How much money does he want? I'll say I'll give him 110 grand plus 300,000 signing bonus. He accepts it. Roberto Firmino is now a Juventus player. I think that's a very good signing. I think that's a very, very good signing. I 
Let's get him to the team. There he is. I think he just fits him perfectly in that role behind Vlaovic. He could play the balls into him, he could finish him. Perfect, just perfect. I think we'll send him to Italy for three months. Then I'm gonna buy two more scouts. Five star, five star, five star, five star. I think I'm going to send this one to send to Algeria for three months. Then let's send this guy to Switzerland for three months. He's Swedish, Swedish, Swedish. I don't know Swedish. That's it. <laughs> I think about Finland, Finnish, and all that. But never mind. Right, let's go through the squad, guys. Chesney, uh, he's course got to stay. He's a number one. Colo Pinzagolio, something like that. I am gonna put on the transfer list. Parent, good backup. I'm gonna loan this guy out because he looks young and all that. Alex Sancho, keep him for this last year. Rugani, I keep for good backup. Bremer, definitely keep. Benucci. Club legend, in my opinion. Gatti, good backup. Which I say, like, Giat. So not said that. Keep down, you know, he'd be starting. Loan the Barbieri out. Now, De Siglio, or something like that. I think I'm gonna send him. Or he'd be good backup, Quadrado. He's getting old and he'll probably be leaving. But no, I think I'm gonna send him. Sorry, lad. My mate Locatelli a permanent. Loan. I can't say his name. Keep him. Or should I loan him out? I definitely loan him out. He's very good, in my opinion. Costa and Chiesa, perfect. Moretti, I'm loaning out. Rabio, insane. McKinney on loan at Leeds. He's coming back then. Look at all these people. Sue. Learning them out as well. Next, Messi, in my opinion. Go, probably gonna make Quadrado to a right back. Oh, he won't even work. Never mind. I just want that then. Engel Di Maria changed to a right winger. In my opinion, on this day, this guy is incredible. I might say, I don't think that's gonna work, but still gonna do it. But Firmino going straight to our camp. But what number should I give him? I I think I might give him the number ninety nine. I think that for some reason I think that suits him. No him out. No Kyle Corky out. Vlaovic Milik. I didn't make him a uh, permanent. Moise Keen. I think he joined them in real life, but. I think I have too many strikes if I do that. But I, mm, I don't know about that one. I have no clue what to do there. But yeah. I'm going to renew some people's contracts maybe. Could you rather I'm probably get rid of them at the end of the season. Pardon me. I'm going to negotiate with Rabio Rabio because he's been insane this season. Or last season shall I say. And he shouldn't he's is I is either gonna stay at Juventus or get a big money move. Which in my opinion he deserves. It's been incredible for Juventus. Do I give him a pay raise? Pay, pay rise? Nah, I'm I'm gonna keep it hundred five K. 300 of that. I had a bonus. If he gets 15 goals, he gets what 1.2 mil.
in my opinion, that's perfect. When he comes back, I'm either got to keep him, use my squad depth, or sell him. Sicario, because he's very good, but I don't, I just don't know what to do, to be fair. Right, so here we go, we've got some transfer offers for Rabio, Quadrado, and Garifani. I'm rejecting them straight away, I'm, I'm blocking all transfers. Quadrado, I think I'm going to keep it from this season, but I am going to loan him out. <laughs> right, so here we go. I think, I don't think they've got Sancho Quese, in my opinion, I don't think they are. Maybe get him next season. Maybe. Only downfall by Sane. So I got two star we thought same with you crazy. Now he's got four star, four star. But I think I'm going to sign I don't know which one to sign, it was signing Nagbury. I really don't. But I think I'm gonna sign Marcos Acuna first for forty five or something like that meal. I'm probably going to start off at 40. Oh, they've walked off straight away. Maybe next time, off a higher bid. I think I'm going to my mind, though. I think I'm going for Leroy Sane. I prefer him as a football footballer. I just like him. I'm pulling off a 43 mil. 49. About 45. Still on 49. 47. Alright, not happy with 47. Let's get this deal done. Crucial. Yeah, I suppose so. 4 years be 30. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if accept. What if he could he? Do you think he would accept a five with that five goals and yeah? No, what I accept it. Look at that. Then I just sue him though. I don't think you have number eight. I think that's what I think he's taking that number off somebody. Don't know who. Was it? Oh, he, I don't know. He swear he took that off somebody. What do we get for that? We get a B. What else we could have got? We could have gone for 42 mil. But I wasn't sending him for that. Look at that for a signer now. He's going straight into the team. Apparently he's better off at right wing as well. I'm changing, <coughs> changing Sane's Sarge, number. I don't really... You don't, I don't think he's a number 8. I think 27 sounds right, right? Surely. Anyway, because I'm... I think... I'm going to put Rabio as number 8. I think that suits him more. But whilst I'm in here, I am going to sign Locatelli on the permanent. Oh yeah, well I have to, didn't I? 43 mil. Crucial, please. Thank you. Four years, yeah.
after those two two signings, we're left with four, a budget of forty four mil. I'm hoping we get some transfers done soon. So then we get some more money to sign Akuna. As we go loan off to Akras, I'm gonna accept it. Here we go. <coughs> transfer offer for Pinsogilio. 1.1 mil. I'm gonna try to get 1.3. I don't know if that's pushing it, but oh well. It's only like 150k more. No, I, I might as well, aren't I? It's only 150k more. Here we go, he's leaving. Look at that, somebody going out on loan. Yeah, go funny. Unloan to peace out for 12 months. Here you go, we're both Mino you know, to our cam. Goes up to our 84. Okay, Hawke has gone alone to Cadiz for two years. Hope he comes back better and stronger. Diziglo, 7 mil, accepting it. Looks like Pinsoglio, the transfer went under. Because it didn't go through. That makes no sense. Oh, a big transfer offer for Chesney. For Vela Bache for 35 mil. I'm not accepting that. Not yet, anyway. Don't you see? Oh, we sent us away. This Skigilio has gone for half a nine, just for 7 mil. And I think I just saw Granite Shaka has gone to. Wolves, isn't it? Yep, he has for 29 mil. I think that's a bargain for Granite Shaka. Because he is a, in my opinion, he's, he's world class. But now that we've got 53 mil, I think we have enough to go in for Marcos Acuna. They're asking for like 45 mil. I'm going to see if I get any cheaper. But I might, in the deal, put Pinsoglio in it. Offer 40 mil. See what they say. Or no, not having radio. So offer 40 mil last time didn't work out. What if we offer 43.5? They accept that. Perfect. Let's see how much money that Marcus Acuna wants. A crucial. Of course. Three year deal? Yeah, alright. That's 89k. Move that bonus. What if he just took me down to 79? That was 94. What the fuck? Oh, fine. Oh, we need a left back. There he is. He just looks sexy in that Juventus shirt. Number two, I did take that for somebody. I know we did. So I'm going to change that. But there was our three signings we made this summer. In my opinion, all four of them are amazing. Look, all four are literally in a starting 11. Literally. Right? Yeah. I think so, right? One, two, yeah, 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 there is. Never mind. I just don't know. But <laughs> well, let's go change this number because I swear he stole that from somebody. Who did he steal it from? I swear he stole it from somebody, right? It was number two. It's been literally number two. No, it's number 19, wasn't he? Oh, I don't know. I could be number two then. Uh, 
only bad thing about him is he hasn't got a real game face. He literally looks like somebody he would pay like he's a lawyer. He looks like a lawyer, bro. Another offer upon pop yep, him. <laughs> Gotta accept it. A loan offer for Inning Junior. I'm gonna set both of them. Should I just need another one for Southampton? No way. You just no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, nah, just no. All the people change from their options to wherever they are now. Locatelli says the same. I think that's it. Now we've got a lot more here. Chiesa goes up to an 85. Junior going up. No, it stays at 871. Never mind. It's left foot. I, I thought it was right foot. Fagioli to a centimeter. Go up by two. Poor boxer boxing them. That's it at the moment. Boys, we've just won the pre season tournament. Got an extra 5 million from it. I think we went unbeatable. Let's have a look. Yep, we won Newcastle, Celta Vigo. Is that Celta Vigo? I think it is. And Arsenal. Without conceding a single goal all season. But let's take a look at August. Got Roma first thing. And Sampdoria. September. It's pretty... F I think this episode we are going to do the Roma one first thing. As so we've got our first scout reports coming back. Italian one. Nobody here. I can see it's worth signing up. What about the Swiss? Oh, he looks pretty good. I sign him up, I sign him up. Oh, 1.6 mil as a goalkeeper. Next summer, right here. Algeria now. I mean, he's got bad potential. I think I should have signed him up, though. My fault, my fault. But the Swiss has came in clutch with two. Stefan Forster. 66 six rated. 6'6. Six six. That's good. Got several in Kuhn. Okay, shooting up. He looks. Could be good. But. I'll see you at the first game of the season, boys. Right, here we go, boys. Press conference before our first game of the season. I'm happy with what I've got. These boys are winners, but not as much winners. I don't think we can win the league because we've got Inter Milan, AC Milan. But yeah, we are strong everywhere as well. But we'll try our hardest to win the league, boys. This could be your first. Game of the season, and this could be our first team of the season. First, oh, well, our first 11, shall I say. Nothing's changed. Let's get in there and hope we will win. Of course, Roma got the new signing and Dicker centre back. Got a new signing signed in FIFA, Taremi, a striker as well. And of course, Abraham Dybala used to play for us. Got Pellegrini and all that. Ibanez, Patricio, Smalling. Very, very good side. The months of preparation are finally over. Both sets of fans full of optimism as they look ahead to the new season. But who will come out on top today? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary here we go, by boys. Stuart Robson. And the start of the event is clear mode. The first game this evening. Stuart, your expectations. Let's get it kicked off. As always on the all going with this starting eleven. Oh, it's too many. Kiesa, beautiful. Rabio finds Flavic, who tries to find Nero Sonny through the park. And fails. It's Tammy Abraham. Tremi. Back to Tammy. Great tackle from Bremer. Marcus Kuna calls the new well, left back. He tries to do some skills and fails. Could Benucci? Benucci just brilliantly to get that block in. Remove well, that's playing short. They do. Dabala against Locatelli. Locatelli is brilliantly against Dabala. They play short again. Yes, they do. Oh, Dabala gets past Locatelli this time. Venture loses it. Rubai Firmino. Could they look on the break? Doesn't know what to do. Oh, he finds a beautiful pass out wide to Dino. Who finds down the middle to Vlaovic. Vlaovic could be through here. Gets past Ndiki. Shoots on his right. And he's put it wide. That should be 1 0. Oh, there's a handball there, Sonny. Can Sonny score from there? He scored from his angle before. Sonny, he shoots. He hits it straight back at the wall. Sonny gets a rebound. He shoots again and he scored. Leo Sonny on his debut for Juventus. Let's go an absolute screamer. What a strike from the young, from not young, from the German. Let's have a look at that again. Hits it off the wall for the 3k, gets the ball back, chests it down and just hits it top left. What a goal. That is close, could be his first of many, hopefully. One nil after 25 minutes. Abraham, Spinazzola. Oh, Pellegrini plays a wonderful pass to Tom Abraham. Could he get a re could he get the equaliser straight away? No, no, they can't. Chesney with a great, great save. Short corner taken. Locatelli, brilliantly. He plays out. What a ball. Tom Abraham, it's through. Plays it through to Remy. Remy shoots. Great save. And a time for cool heads. This is a wonderful play from Juventus here. After just being right time to get an update from Alex on, because I there's been a goal in the after just been defending, of course. They did lose it though. Roman that on the counter attack again. Bremen does brilliantly. Still no counter attack. Tommy Van gets it. He backs heel it. This is wonderful play from Roma. Wonderful from Benucci. Dabala. Oh, ball. Spinazzola. Oh, it does brilliant against Bremer there. Dabala now. Bremer is even better. Sonny, of course, the goal scorer. Finds Vlahovic. He finds Chiesa. He sees Rebo from you know making that run. Just more skillage. What a ball to Sane. Sane plays inside. Chiesa tried to turn inside, just fails. Roma kicks off the second half. Acuna. Switches it to Danilo. It's Locatelli. Ribio. It's got to take a shot. And it's just wide. Tammy Abraham. Benucci just brilliantly. 
He tries to play it to Chiesa, fails. Oh, Vavich gets the rebound though. Plays it back to Chiesa, Chiesa's through on goal. He shoots, Rui Patricio with a great, amazing save. There we go, Danilo with the corner, cross it in, Vavich is there. No, he's not. Kuna could win that. No, he doesn't. Locatelli does though. Benucci finds Sane. Sane doesn't know what to do. Plays it to Rebio. Tries to take a shot. Beautiful play from Roma here. Right here on EA TV. Well, the pictures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. He must finish. That was an amazing play. What a goal for Roma. Taibala against his former club. Great goal. Danilo, you couldn't do that. It's been his oldest coming in now, and it's a goal for Roma again. Taibala with a brace. Gonna make some subs here. Dimrius probably will come on for Sane. You know he's had a great game. Pogba coming on for Roberto Firmino. Should be doing better than that. Gonna make another sub then. Rodrigo's coming on that left wing, and I think Milik should come on for Vlaovic. Whole new attack, literally. Well, they've decided to make a change. The corner played into the box. Quadrado now. Quadrado still winning Pellegrini. Great tackle. Acuna plays it to Quadrado in the wing. Another great tackle. They're playing insane now. Acuna though. Just brilliantly. Fabio. Quadrado. Pogba. Sees Milik. Milik's on the run. The minute score his first goal for Juventus, signing permanent deal. No, he cannot. Rui Patricio with another great save. Daniel with another ball in. Is Milik. Great deflection, whoever that was. Rodrigo. No way. No, no way. Rodrigo plays it. Milik don't know what to do. You can see Pogba making that insane one. Paul Pogba to his first goal back for Juventus. He used his left foot for some reason. He's hit it wide. Fagioli's coming on now. Danilo, another ball in. Milik, could he win it? No, he cannot. Danilo, plays it back to Milik. Milik, should have went down there, mate. Rebio with a shot. Ruby Tisho. Ruby Tisho saved Roma time and time again. Danilo, one last attack for Juventus here. Here's Di Maria. And ball ref. Thank you. Here's Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba to Fagioli. You can see Bremer. Milik. Milik's there. He shoots. He's hit the crossbar. Good draw is there. Rabio's there. Pogba. He's shooting from long range. Paul Pogba. With a late equaliser. What a goal for the French magician to equalise in the 90th minute. What a goal. Let's have a look at that again. Rabio headed it down. Bobak touches. Outside the box. Two insane goals in one game. Well, not really insane because he got a bit lucky. But what a goal. New manager, of course. Enjoying it. Great game. 94th minute equaliser. Paul Pogba. He is the saviour of this game. After that first game of the season. We've come in third. Fiorentina Inter both win their first games. But nobody's played their first games. Fully, only a couple of people have. But as you can see, Ellis Verona and Salernitana both at the bottom of the table. Paul Bogba, insane goal. Now then, guys, I think I'll wrap up for the first video of this series. 
it's got to be like a mini series until we win like the Champions League, until we win the tre- treble, shall we say, or quadruple maybe, who knows. But thank you guys for watching. I'll post episode two probably tomorrow if I get a chance because of school and everything. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.